Hi, I'm Cheryl Cadso and I made coffee and this is the making of coffee. I watch lots of tutorials, get great ideas from the Frugal Filmmaker group and I just thought, damn it, I need to make something, <laughs> do a film. I did a quick little storyboard, got my clapperboard out, set up the kitchen, roped my son into acting for me. I had to improvise with a few things. I needed to not have to hang on to the mic, so I put the L bracket on an old tripod. I have just purchased this spider shock mount for my mono shotgun mic, which I now have a stereo plug which separates it out into left and right. It seems to work okay. I filmed the kettle boiling before my son came down to help me just to get a few bits of the sound and test the lighting and things like that and to do it while it was quiet in the kitchen and I think that was a good idea. The lighting choice was probably not the best. This is a new light that I haven't used before. The battery's only just arrived. I reflected it out of the umbrella but in hindsight I realised I really should have had it turned around the other way. It was quite bright and put one of the filter umbrellas, the thin white ones on. That's a learning curve. Next time I'll do that. We started using the new clapper board but that proved rather difficult because there's only two of us doing this and I wanted to be close to what Michael was doing but to get the whole clapper board in I had to pan out. He was a really good actor for me. He's um, quite willing to do some acting for me, even though I have the camera in some funny places. He's a bit of a clown and I enjoy that. I enjoy working with him. When we did the final scene with the keys, uh, when he put the cup down and grabbed the keys, I tromped out to the door and slammed the back door to give the sound that he was leaving. Michael pushed the button on the keys and made the horn beep and scared the daylights out of me. It was a lot of fun and I've learned so much from doing it and I think um, the frugal filmmaking crowd have given me some good comments and some positive comments about it and constructive comments. So I've learned a lot from doing this. This was very quick. It was done in an afternoon, edited that night. But I needed to get something out there to show what I'm trying to do and to learn from my mistakes. So thanks everybody for watching it and I hope you enjoy this little making of behind the scenes. Thank you. Bye.